Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do deductions. Now what you need to remember with deductions is that when I'm working with the vertical line then I am referring to the y values. When I am working with the horizontal then I am referring to the x values. Okay. Now what would that mean? If I am working with the following coordinates 3 and 5 and 3 and 3. If I want the length that is vertical, the values that are relevant is my y values. So what I would say is y of the top minus the y of the bottom. So I would have had 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2. So the length of this line is 2 units. Now if I was working with x, let's say I've got minus 5 and 2 and here I've got 6 and 2. When you are working with lines that are horizontal, the values that are relevant are your x values. But what you're going to do is you're going to say x of the right minus x of the left. So which means it would be 6 minus minus 5 which equals to 6 plus 5 which is 11. What you need to remember basically, I'm always working with the highest then the lowest. The highest then the lowest. 6 is higher than minus 5. So when we're working with length, we are specifically working with the high minus low. But you need to remember that y value is a vertical line and x value is a horizontal line. Now working on the following, right? If they say find the equation of EF, you will notice that all the work in deductions is basically work that you have already done. It will be get the equations and then it will be simply substitution. Now to find the equation of AF, that is what you had done under get equations for straight line. In that we had taught you how to get the equation. Now let us do the following. It says get the equation of EF. To get the equation of a line, you need two coordinates. Now pupils are so busy looking at A and they are so busy looking at D that they don't realize that you know on the line of AF there is two coordinates. Here's one and here's the second one. For number one, the coordinates given are minus 4 and 0 and then 0 and 2. Now to get the equation of a straight line we know we need gradient and then we've discussed this before if you are not okay with what I am doing now you need to go under your analytical geometry but this is also discussed in your grade 9 revision videos where we discuss how to get the equation of a graph okay so we're going to substitute m is going to be 2 minus 0 over 0 plus 4 which means it would equal to a half now once we have m we can use the formula y is equal to mx plus c or we can just use y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 but it's really it's dependent on you you decide which formula you like and then you work with that so we have y minus 2 so I'm choosing to use the x2 y2 coordinate so we have y minus y1 remember you can also choose to use this one it is just a substitution but the only rule is it must come from the same bracket like you can't take 2 from here and then minus from from there you just have to take the same bracket so we've got y minus 2 is equal to our m is a half into x minus 0. So we've got half of x. So we have y is equal to a half x plus 2. Now remember you'd get the same answer if you used minus 4 and 0. Now the first question was find the equation of AF. Now calculate the length of AB. If I'm saying y is equal to a half of x plus 2. And then I have that at this point x is 6. Now we know to get y we have to substitute x into the original equation. So what does that mean? That means at this point if I want the y value I need to substitute the 6 into this x. So I'm going to have y is equal to 
a half into 6 plus 2, which is going to equal to 5. So my coordinates for A is 6 and 5. Now why would I be so interested in the coordinates? When we want to calculate a length, the values that I'm interested in is the Y values. So I need the Y values. So here I have the Y values. It's 5 and at this specific point it's 0. So the length of AB is going to be top minus bottom which is going to equal to 5 minus 0 so it's 5 units. Then they want us to calculate the length of CD. Now here again they are giving me the X values. So if I want to calculate the length of CD I need Y. Why am I interested in Y? Because it's a vertical length. Vertical lengths are Y values. Now we know at that point it's minus 8 and 0 but what is the value at D? The X value is consistent. So I'm going to have Y is equal to a half minus 8 plus 2 which gives me minus 2. But now look at what the equation says. The equation says y of the top minus y of the bottom. So y of the top minus y of the bottom. Now what is the top y value? The top y value is 0. So I have 0 minus minus 2. 0 minus minus 2 which is equal to 2 units. So what is the length of CD? The length of CD is equal to two units. And then they are asking what is the length of FB? FB is a length that is running horizontal. Now when we are working with horizontal lengths then we are going to take the X of the high minus X of the low. We already have the X values. We don't need to calculate anything. At B it's 6. At F it's minus 4. The high value is 6 minus minus 4 which is equal to 10. So the length of FB is equal to 10 units. Thank you for watching.